from Canada's very own Drake to iconic painters like Jean-Michel Basquiat. The culture of hip hop is noticeably ingrained in 21st century contemporary culture, influencing everything from music to dance, fashion, and art, yet is virtually non-existent in the practice of interior design. In turn, my research looks to establish the theoretical foundations of what I call hip hop interior design, a new interior design movement which looks to build upon the existing concept of hip hop architecture. I look to unravel the history of American racial segregation and clarify the role governing bodies and designers played in the spatial marginalization of black Americans. This marginalization formed the inner city and it was inner cities in post-industrial New York which acted as the incubator for hip hop to emerge. I then look at hip hop's history and expressions with an understanding that hip hop is not merely a musical genre, but rather a rich inner city culture founded on the pillars of rap, DJ, graffiti, and breakdance, and rooted in the practice of self-creation and adaption of your environment. These theories are then analyzed in creating a series of research-based principles about how to approach hip hop interior design, which looks to revive abandoned inner city buildings as forms of social capital for the local population. These principles are then applied to the actual design of a community center for adolescents located in a disenfranchised community in Toronto, Ontario, where I'm originally from. Now, you may still be wondering, why is this important? Why hip hop? While my research can guide future design practice, it also hopes to attract more people of color to the field, with research showing that in both interior design education and practice, black and brown designers are severely underrepresented. In addition, hip hop interior design specifically focuses on creating spaces for black, brown, and minority people from disenfranchised communities, creating spaces which foster work, leadership, and educational possibilities. Again, hip hop culture's influence in the 21st century zeitgeist is undeniable. Not to mention the culture's resounding ability to make something out of nothing, someone out of no one, for those who have been most systematically overlooked. As the late great rapper Tupac Shakur once wrote, long live the rose that grew from concrete when no one else ever cared. There are millions of these forgotten about roses around the world. And it's my hope that hip hop interior design provides one possible approach to help them bloom. Thank you.